do my Humira injection and I thought I would just talk you through some of the things. So I'll give you a sharp spin, which has got a little symbol in it. And once it's full, you just phone them and tell them and they give you another one. You can see some of the needles in there. It's also got a special drawer that shuts and locks. Um, so I'm going to leave it open because I'll be dropping things in it. And the Humira, Humira Adalivumab comes in a box like this. And it's got all my details there. <laughs> um, it's a pre-filled pen injection, 40 milligrams. So it comes in a box like this and there's two needles. The needle, I opened this 15 minutes ago, you see the needle comes in a wee thing like this. And then you just tear off the bit. Uh, and so there's two in a pack. Um, and pop that down there. There's also these little sticky labels that you can use um, to pop like stickers for you to put on your calendar so you remember you've got to inject. So you alternate between sides. So it's my right side tonight, you can do left side, and you can also do legs. Um, the first time I had Humira, I think I had four, so like one, two, three, four, and I found my stomach easier to inject into. Um, the first time my nurse did three and I think I did the last one and then the next time he did one and I did one and then the last time I did one myself and then I got home with it and it was every fortnight um, so you get a cute little wiper it's in a wee sachet and I'll rip that when I go to do the injection so you just oops you just clean the area first and your pen looks a bit like this. So um, somebody told me it looked like an EpiPen. I, I don't really know. <laughs> it has got a little window here, but like one of those things to check if something's level. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see this, but if I move it from side to side, maybe you'll see the little bubble. There's a wee bubble inside that moves. Maybe not. Anyway. Um, red end, which is, num they're numbered. So number one and number two. And uh, the red end is the button. And I'm saying this right, yes. The white end is the needle. Um, I don't really think about this until I have to speak about it. So what you do when you get your injection is take it out of the fridge and you leave it um, to warm up at least 15 minutes. Um, and it's done that. I haven't just taken it out of the fridge. It's nice and warm. And the first thing you check is your little bubble, if your bubble is moving. And if it's um, cloudy, if the wee window's cloudy, which is not, it's totally see-through and the bubble is moving. Uh, and then I'm just going to check I've got the right drugs. <laughs> so 40 milligrams, it's got little, little things here. Humira. And then down here, Adalibumab. And I'm presuming that's just different languages, although that could be more information about the drug that I just don't know how to say it. And then down here, we have got the date. So we're good. We're plenty in date for that. <laughs> so that is my pen. Before I inject, I'm just going to show you if you were to inject in your legs, you would inject vertically. You've got to, I don't know if you can see my legs here, you've got to kind of pinch an inch. I've got more than an inch, so it's okay. And then you inject vertically. And I found it tricky to see the window. And unfortunately, I've not got somebody else to film this. So I don't think you'll be able to see. I will try and do it so I can see and maybe you could see. But I don't think that's going to work at all. I think it might be too far away. But inside, up here, is the little mechanism. So when you push down, I think it's like a spring, and it pushes it down. And you get a little yellow thing coming down this way. And it pushes all the liquid through. And um, it's once you see this down the bottom that you know that the thing is finished. It has got a bit of a kind of pop, wee bang when it goes off. So let's get this show on the road. So I apologise uh, for anyone who's lovely and slim. I'm not. So um, yes, I've got my festival t-shirt on though because we're playing in a festival tomorrow. So there's going to be music. There's definitely going to be wellies because it's in the highlands of Scotland and the weather report's not good. So there's going to be rain. Beer, but I'm not going to be drinking any. 
Uh, I'm not camping either, but there's going to be plenty of people doing that. And sunglasses, it'd be awesome if we got to use those. But yeah, I'm afraid you're going to say goodbye to my festival and hello to my lovely belly. Uh, so this is the wee sachet thing. Wee. And I don't really know what you're supposed to do with these. I always just shove them in a little sharp spin. Um, right. So it's totally stuck. Cleaning wipe. I've never opened it up. I've always just kept it as a little square, although it does open. You can see that it opens. So I'm going on the right hand side and I've just pinched a bit. I've come from my belly button over this way a wee bit. So I'm just wiping. There we go. Wiped. And there's probably a knack to doing this without letting go, but I haven't worked it out yet. Got my pen. Popped with number one. Number one is off and as you can see, there is no needle that is visible. Hold on, number two is off. I've never done this. Obviously filmed before. Number two is like stuck a wee bit. The connection looks a bit like a jigsaw piece. So I tend to hold it around like this so I can see the window. And then I've got access to my button that I'm not going to push just yet. I'm going to grab onto my tummy again. And aim for the bit that I wiped. I'm just going to manoeuvre a wee bit. Uh, and I normally do a kind of final countdown. So three, two, one, bang. And it stings a little bit. Now we put it out and in the bin. And I've been really stupid and forgot to get a little thing. So two seconds, reaching over. Very unprepared, sorry. I did bleed a little bit there and it wouldn't have had I been prepared and thought the trick taking the little thing. That was really silly of me, I'm sorry. And uh, if my nurse is watching this, he will be mortified that I have uh, filmed my last injection and forgotten the cotton bud. <laughs> so yes. But yeah, I find that it's just the sound of it. Um, it's worse than the actual injection although sometimes you kind of hit like a vein or something and it's a bit like ah uh, it's actually worse this part holding on to it afterwards so I shall get rid of my lovely tummy and hold on to this from the other side um, and it's a bit like it just reminds me of if you get your blood taken and they said to you push and hold afterwards it's just like that so over and done with and any minute now it'll have stopped and it'll be fine. Nearly. It's because I left it. Um, but yes, so that is the last humid injection before um, my operation. And hopefully the last ever. <laughs> but um, it wouldn't be so bad if I have to go back on it. It's not too much of a hassle. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.